Alright, and now, Lubu's Revolt. And this is gonna be a quick one. So, uh, anyway, um, this time around, I'm gonna go, and you know what? I'll play as Dong Zhuo, and, uh, I'll go with the default. So, here we go. Alright, the equipment, the weapon. We have a maxed out fear, as you know. The items, I'll leave it as is. The bodyguards are at 8. The objectives, we have to defeat Lupu, and we can't allow myself to fall or the time running out. The unit info, for Dong Zhuo's forces, you have Dong Zhuo, which is me, Diao Chan, Li Ru, Li Jue, Hua Xiang, Xu Rong, and Guo Se. For Lupu's forces, you have Lupu, Zhang Liao, Gao Xun, and Chen Gong. Alright, let's do it. And the same concept, Shitunda KOs, Shitunda points, and we gotta be fucking fast. I really don't think I'm going to get the KOs, the points, I'll be lucky as well. It's just the uh, time that's going to be very easy to pull off. Yeah, so we'll go and defeat those first, the gate captains, then we'll take it from there. I will defeat you! Alright, that's one. That's two. They will literally be like cornered mice. So now they can't get away. And now I'll go for Zhang Liao. Zhang Liao's down. He was probably the toughest one out of them all. No heralds come with death. The other two I don't have to worry about as much. Chen Gong is a joke, and uh, Gao Xun isn't that difficult either. Fortunately enough, I don't have to worry about the actual time limit hitting over 20 minutes this time around. So, uh, yeah, anyway. I, I already said it, but I'll say it again. Anyway, we'll go for Gao Shun. That's what happens when you get in my way. I'm not even trying to go for them and they just get in my way. Gao Shun is down. Alright. I don't think I'm gonna need this, but I'll grab it anyway just to play it safe. I'll grab the Moose Wine over there. I'm not going to worry about the troops over there, so hopefully that won't cost me. So like I said before, um, if you were to go for Dong's Rules level 10 weapon, you would have to defeat everybody as well as every troop and gate captain. Just got to make sure that Lupu is the last one left and uh, you'll get it. But um, I'm not worried about getting that just yet. The only reason why I brought it up is because I accidentally unlocked it on my uh, one of my attempts. But uh, I didn't save, obviously, because if I did save, then you would see it. But no. Anyway, 
Shit. Alright. Yeah, let me wait. Chen Gong is down. So far, so good. That was not happening. I would love to have 100 KOs by the end of it, but you know what? I'm not gonna go out of my way, and I don't want Lubu to kick the shit out of me either, so. We'll go over here. And get rid of the Rat Pack. I think 80 KOs is good. And that's a win. Alright. And yes, that's relatively fast, but um, <laughs> that's how it is for this stage. I think this is the only uh, Musum boat whose final stage is only a 30 minute stage. And it's very, very, very short. I mean, we just barely got over the 5 minute mark. So that's definitely going to, you know, drop our time average. Which is something that we needed, but still. Anyway. Uh... No items. The KO count is a joke. We only got 81. Our worldly opponent count is 4. We defeated everybody. Um, and I think, yeah, we only got 2,000 points. But I'm pretty sure that's not going to matter. Because the average is still up there. My only concern, uh, concern is the uh, Battle of Seashway Gate. If I pull it off properly. But uh, I will find out in a bit. And that will not be enough for rank max or the max rank. Uh, weapon experience doesn't matter. The bodyguards, as you know, I can give two shits. Okay, the moment of truth. So I'll overwrite this one. I, I don't even think it matters at this point, but still. And there we go.
All right, so based on the actual quote, we definitely got the uh, KO requirement, the time requirement, the point requirement. Now it's just a matter of the condition because uh, they won't reveal that because that's not part of the uh, quote system setup, um, so to speak. So I played six stages. I did all that. Now the question is, did I pull off the objective properly by defeating all three, Sunjian, Liu Bei, and Cao Cao, and then obviously you want Xiao, otherwise he will retreat um, before he actually had a chance to retreat. He decided that he was going to retreat, and once you see the dialogue where he ultimately decides to retreat, then that's when I believe that you should be making the move to defeat the, those three, then you want Xiao as fast as possible, otherwise you'll game over. So hopefully that's right, and uh, hopefully this will be ending number four. I will definitely let you know if it is once it's over, because I've actually watched both endings one and three, just to make sure that, you know, I know what's in it. So anyway, let's see. Yeah, um, it seemed like it was kind of similar uh, to any number one, but um, there are some things I, I could have sworn I didn't see in there when it comes to actual characters. So let's see here. Yep, we got it. The Xiao sisters stood out. That's the only thing that had me concerned. Because um, it, it seemed like a replica ending to ending number one. I just didn't recall seeing the Xiao sisters in ending number four. So we got it pulled it off that was probably the biggest elephant in the room when it comes to all these endings well there's still one more and that is the yellow turbans but we'll get there when we get there but for now that's another one down and uh we still have one more to go and that is ending number two so with that being said you can watch my gaming adventures featuring dynasty warriors 4 and i'll see you in the next part where we'll take on thong Zhuo's musume mode one more time 
and we will get ending number two. So, peace out.